So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, we have y equals 36x squared minus 144. So obviously, we know that our middle term b, the bx, is, you know, b is equal to 0. So one thing that students automatically look at this and say, well, if I did, notice that a is not equal to 1. So if I did my, um, my diamond kind of method, I'd have to do a times c, which would be 36 times 144. <laughs> And then they have to add to 0. Does anybody really want to multiply 36 and 144 and figure out what two numbers multiply, that, but then add to give you 0? No. That doesn't really sound like a lot of fun, does it? No. However, one thing that we notice here is I look at my numbers, and I look at like terms. ax squared plus um, bx, or plus c. Yes, and you could actually factor out the GCF. That's not a problem. However, I sometimes avoid factoring out the GCF is when I see I have squared numbers. Is a a squared number? Yes. If I take the square root, a is equal to 6. All right. Is c a squared number? If I take the square root of c, I get 12. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, noticing that if you have a positive or a na if you have two squared numbers and you have the difference of them and there's no middle terms, all we simply need to do is set this equal to 0. And we say, all right, I'm going to take 6x plus 12 and then 6x minus 12. So we basically take our squared terms, also include the x, and we have to use the positive and the negative to multiply them to get us to equal 0. Yes? I thought a negative number can't have a square root. You, that is a root of a, of a Right. So remember, what we're doing is, here, think about this as like c is equal to 144. It's, I'm sorry, it should have been like this. ax squared, so think of them as like in parentheses. OK? a is equal to 36. c is equal to 144. Yes, it's the difference of a and c. But you're not taking the square root of negative 144. You're just taking the square root of 144. OK? So what I want you guys to understand is you take the square root of both those terms, and you multiply them. And now you can always double check your answer by using FOIL. 6x times 6x equals 36x um, squared. And then you have uh, 6 times negative 12, which would be a positive 72x minus 72x. And then 12 times negative 12 is 144. Those terms cancel out, and you're left with the uh, 36x squared minus 144. However, ladies and gentlemen, we are not done, though. Once you have the product, your two factors multiply to give you 0, you set them both equal to 0. And then you subtract equals negative 12, divide by 6, divide by 6, x equals negative 2, add 12, add 12, 6x equals positive 12, divide by 6, divide by 6, x equals 2. So therefore, our two answers are x equals negative 2 and x equals positive 2. Does everybody see that? Now, here is the